So how to view the option profit and loss diagram with Questrade. So sadly, you can't use the browser version or the mobile application. You'll have to use the desktop application, which is Questrade IQ Edge. So that's what it looks like. Now, maybe by default, you'll have a bunch of windows. Just close them. Make sure to just close them if you don't need them. If you haven't used Questrade IQ Edge before, all you really need if you want to see the option profit and loss diagram is if you look on top here on this bar over here, you see PNL calculator. That's all you need to click on. And then you could make it bigger, make it full screen. And let's say you want to look up a particular stock. So let's say you want to look up Dash or DoorDash. Just using this example because I was just using it uh, recently. So you look up Dash. This it gives you the price. It automatically updates where it can. And then over here, you've got add stock, add option, add strategy. So this is where you would add your elements to generate that profit and loss diagram to see what your break even points are at break at expiry, but to also see what your profit would be as the stock moves on a particular date. So I'm going to give you examples. So I'll start with the basic options and then I'm going to go with complex strategies. Let's say I want to click add option. If I click add option, automatically gives me a call. So let's say I wanted to buy the January 15, 140 call so you can see at the bottom here it's giving me a profit and loss diagram so let's ignore the purple line i'm going to remove it i'm just going to keep the green line so the green line is basically at expiry what my profit and loss is at expiry so if i buy the 140 call expiring january 15 on doordash i'm going to pay nine dollars and 85 cents so right away it shows me so at the bottom here, it shows me the price of the stock at expiry. So if the stock is trading anywhere below 150, this is the break even point right here. I start losing money, but the max that I could lose, regardless where DoorDash is trading at uh, come expiry, wherever it is on this side, my max loss is 985, which you could see on the right side over here, which you could see over here as I hover on the green line my max loss will be 985, which makes sense because when you buy a call option, your max loss is what you pay. And in this case, I'm paying 985. Now, what's my max profit? As you can see, my max profit is unlimited. It all depends where DoorDash goes by expiry. But you can see if DoorDash is at 191 at expiry, my profit would be around $4,152. So this shows me my profit. If DoorDash is at 160 at expiry, my profit would be $1,061. But what's more important to see is your break even. Where is your break even achieved, which is 150? So at 150, I don't make any money, I don't lose any money. And then anything below that, I start losing money. And then at my max loss occurs at exactly 140. So at exactly 140, my max loss would be $985. Now let's say I change it to a put. So it's the exact same thing, but the opposite. So my max loss is the same thing as what I pay, but my max loss occurs. Where is the break even point? Or where is the point where my, where I achieve max loss? It's my strike again, but only if it is trading above 140. So 140 and above, I start. I'm, I reach my max lo loss of 984. My break even is around 130. If the stock is above 130, I start losing money. Max loss is at 140, and then anything below 130, I start making money, and my max profit is uh, unlimited. It all depends where DoorDash goes. Well, it's not really unlimited because DoorDash can only go to zero. But as you can see, if DoorDash goes, let's say, to 100, then my profit would be around 2,900. So you can play around with that based on the option that you're buying or selling. Now, this is it. I could add options individually or I can add a strategy and I could remove it. If I change my mind, I could just remove this, click X. Then I can click add strategy and I could choose a strategy. So, so my favorite strategy is usually a vertical put. So if I click vertical put, it gives me a strategy here and I usually sell the vertical put. So here it gives me by default a vertical put that's being bought. So it's giving me a put debit spread. I want a put credit spread. So I'm just going to reverse this here, click sell and click buy here. So let's say we're to sell the 140 and buy the 135 put, let's say for January 15 as well. So this is the PNL diagram. I'm going to remove the purple line here just keep the green line so the green line shows me at expiry and basically the purple line shows me um, as i'm going so the purple line is more dynamic because it shows me 
as the days go by what is my exact PL. So per, green line is the ad expiry. So ad expiry, this put spread, as you can see, my max profit is capped and my max loss is capped. So with this put spread, my max profit is $245 and my max loss is $255. My break even is 137.52. My max profit is achieved if the stock is above 140, which makes sense because my short strike is 140. My max loss is achieved if at expiry the stock is below 134.82. My max loss is achieved if the stock is below 135. And my break even is 137.6, which makes sense. My break even is 140 minus the credit that I received. And here it shows that I would receive about $2.40 credit or the max profit here of $2.45. So basically it's saying that my the credit received is about $2.45 for this put spread. But I could change the put spread because DoorDash is at $140. Why would I sell a put spread at $140? So let's say I sell it at $120, $115. So you see my max profit is smaller compared to my max loss, but I have a better chance of winning because my break even is further. Now my break even is 119 as opposed to before my break even was uh, 137. So my break even is further. So the and the trade off is smaller max profit. Max profit here is $86 but a bigger max loss. Max loss is $414. So this here this column here shows me my profit and loss and the column and the row at the bottom here shows me the price of the stock at expiry and the green line shows me my profit and loss. Now let's say we add the purple line. Right now the purple line is sitting at December 29th. So we have a January 16 expiry. Let's say we want to see what would have ha what would happen if at uh, I don't know January 6 let's say. So when we sold this put spread, DoorDash was at 140 and then let's say the stock it, the stock went down so let's say the stock went down to 137 so if the stock goes down to 137 on january 6th i'm sitting at an 18 dollars profit now this isn't expiry this is on january 6th on the purple line but on the, on the green line which is at expiry if it's if it expires at 137 then this trade gives me max profit but if let's say at january 6th so about 10 days before expiry stock is trading i don't know at 123 you could see that the PL chart, I'd be down $95. But at expiry, this trade is a winner. But because there's still 10 days to go, I would be currently losing money on this trade. And if we advance the date, if we go to January, I don't know, 14, you could see it, it gets closer and closer to the to the green line, which represents the PL at expiry. And if we if we go exactly, let's say we go to January 15, it gets closer and closer. January 16, it's going to be the same thing. Now let's say let's go to January 1st. So if, let's say we're January 1st stock trading at 105. So it's actually below our long strike of 115. So at expiry, this one's a max loser. But because we still have some time value in the options, at that moment on January 1st, I'm only down $281 as opposed to being down the max loss of 414. But if the stock stays at this point and we get to expiry, then I would fall to the max loss of 414. So I could choose my option strategy by clicking add strategy or I could just choose it manually. So I could just choose it manually here. So I could just choose it manually here. I'm going to choose a call spread now and I'm going to choose an out of the money call spread. So dash is at 140. So let's say I sell the 160 and then buy the 165. I'm going to move the purple line. So you could see now in this case, the profit and loss, profit and loss diagram shows that I've got a max profit of $99, but a max loss of 401. What's my break even at expiry? My break even at expiry is about 161. My max profit at expiry is achieved, of course, if the stock is trading below 160. And my max loss is achieved at expiry if the stock is trading above 165. Now I'm going to remove the lines again. This time I'm going to click add strategy and I'm going to add something a little bit more complicated or let's Let's keep it simple let's take a strangle for example and let's go with uh, let's go with february 19 and let's say we sell the 180 call and we sell the 100 put or the 120 put and as you can see here it's showing me buy now watch what happens when i click sell it's going to reverse it it's going to inverse it so now here this is a strangle it's a short strangle and i don't even have the exact same date so i'm going to choose the same expiry february 19 so all right so this is a strangle so my break even points are are further away with a strangle with a naked uh, with naked options because i sold the 140 put and i sold the 180 call but i'm collecting more in premium so 
you could see at expiry i'm just going to move the purple line so at expiry you could see my break even is 116.83 while my short strike is 140 so that makes sense because i collected 17 dollars and six dollars so that 24 dollars that i collected in total removed from the 140 and puts my break even on the put side at 116 and then my break even on the call side is 203.45 so it's basically 24 plus 180. So basically it shows you your break even points at expiry it shows you what's your profit zone your max profit is two is what you collected basically 2325 in this case and then anywhere between 140 and 116 or it's still profitable but just not pr max profit but of course anything below 116 is a loser and it's actually unlimited you don't know how much you could lose it's unknown and on the call side same thing because it's a naked position so let's say doordash is at 70 dollars at expiry you could see max loss or the loss in this case would be 4700 if doordash is at 225 at expiry max loss would be 2200 now let's add the purple line which is more dynamic which shows you as as days go by in the trade we're looking let's say i don't know let's say january 16 or january 22nd so about half the period you see you can see that you break even you start losing money quicker or it shows your pnl will show that a loss not confirmed loss but your break even on the call side is 186 and your break even on the put side is about 123 so you still have a pretty wide range but you would be able to take profit in this case. So let's say you open the trade December 29th and then on January 22nd, let's say DoorDash is trading at exactly the same price. It's trading at 140. Well, you could see that you'd make a profit of $731. If you're looking at the purple line, on January 22nd, if DoorDash is trading at 731 and implied volatility remains the same, you'd make a profit of 731. If DoorDash is trading at, at 155, you'd make a profit of $910. But if DoorDash is trading at 196, you'd be losing $574. So this uh, profit and loss diagram helps you visualize your option strategy, whether you're comfortable with the break-even points or not. So say you want to look at a covered call. So say I wanted to buy the 100 shares of DoorDash at 140 and sell the February 19. Let's say I want to sell the 140 call remove the purple line so you can see my max profit on the trade is $1,700 which is basically the call premium that I collected that'll be my max profit since my short strike is the same as the current market price and it is achieved if at expiry the stock is trading above 140 so my max profit starts at this point here 140 my break even is basically 140 minus the $17 I collected from the call which makes sense it's 123 and then as you can see max loss well it's basically a long 100 shares so my max loss is 123 which is the ship i paid 140 dollars for the shares i collect 17 dollars, so my break even is 123 and that's also my max loss that's how much the, that's the max i could lose if the stock goes to zero so it's unlikely but in theory my max loss would stop at around 12,000 uh, 12,300 and i start losing money anywhere below 123 at expiry now if i open this trade december 29th and let's say january 15 the stock is trading at uh, 190 i can already take almost max profit so if the stock goes up while you do a covered call you don't have to wait till expiry sometimes you can close the trade for for a profit an example where the stock shoots up so you miss out on capital appreciation but you get your expected max profit you get it sooner you were expecting to get it on February 19, but on January 15, if the stock's trading, I don't know, at 182 or 190, your profit is 1400 instead of waiting until February to get the remaining $300. So this is the benefit of a an option profit and loss diagram. So you could really visualize different situations with your uh, option uh, strategy. Now here's a diagonal put. This strategy is interesting because it always has a, a zone where even if the stock goes against you, there's a zone where you can reach a higher profit before you start losing money. So let's set up something. Let's say let's choose January and February expiries. So a diagonal is different expiry, different strikes. So let's say I would sell the front month and I would buy the the back month. So I'd sell the January 15 buy February 19. But let's say I would sell the 120 put and then buy the 115 put. 
remove the uh, purple line so here's the chart so at expiry so you can see that i've got risk to the upside and i've got risk to the downside my profit zone at expiry is between 109 and 141 but i've got a zone here at around ex at exactly 120 where i can achieve max profit of 577 and what you could do with since you have the option um, profit and loss diagram is you can you can play around with your strikes and puts to figure out a strategy where you lose less on the upside on the call side or you lose less on the put side so just out of curiosity let's see what happens if i sell the 125 so you see i'd collect more from the short put therefore my max loss on the upside is less but then my i have a bigger loss on the put side but my break even is slightly wider so now my break even is between 150 and 116. say i go back to the 120 put but let's say i sell two of them so now I've got a break even of 114 and a break even of 164 on the call side, on the upside. So my break even is much wider, but I did sell an extra put, so there's more risk involved, of course, and the risk is on the put side. So say I go back to one contract, but what if I choose a an expiry that's closer? Let's say January 29th. So there we go. This looks nicer now. There's no risk to the upside. So I've got a max, I've got a guaranteed profit of about six, 620 or $615. As long as the stock trades above uh, around 210, I've got a max profit that's achieved if the stock's trading at 140. And I saw losing money if the stock trades below 129. But as you can see, I'm selling the 140. Let's see if I sell the 120. So now I've got a, a loss on the upside of max loss of $200. And I've got a max loss on the put side of about... $50 and it's achieved at around 68. My break even though is 110 and 141. So if you have an assumption of where you think the stock will be trading at expiry, then you could definitely use this to help you figure out what's the best strategy for your assumption. Now what's cool is we can add a, we can do a double diagonal. We can add a call diagonal. So I'm going to add option. One is sell, one is buy. I'm trying to choose the same expiries. January 29 and February 19 and I'm going to sell so that's pretty cool just by keeping the 140 strike you can see that I've got no risk to the upside my or my break even is really far I've got a max profit of $34 I make a guaranteed $34 profit regardless where the stock goes on the upside I've got this huge profit zone as you can see here between 103 and above and, and there's a point here at 140 exactly where I'd make a total profit, a max profit of 1377 if it lands exactly there. Now, if we add the purple line and let's see what happens if by January 15, let's say if by January 15, the stock is trading. So by January 15, if the stock is trading anywhere between 97 or anywhere above 97, I'm making a profit on this trade. So that's interesting. And I've got a max loss of $473. All right, so I just wanted to show you where you can find the option um, profit and loss diagram with Questrade. But as you can see, it's really up to you to play around with the strikes, the expiries. You could add, quant change the quantities, change the contracts, and figure out the, the option strategy that makes the most sense to you based on your assumption. But as you can see, you could come up with some really wide break-even points with some... Uh, strategies here if you have any questions in the comment section below the call is if you can open an account with quest trade to trade on the stock market use my referral link below to get 50 dollars in free trades also check out the other referral links below if you enjoyed this video click the like button share with a friend and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching